folks, uh, Mr. Mathlog here, and this lesson is on adding and subtracting fractions. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and get started here. So our common core here, we're going to use our prior knowledge on operation of whole numbers to build our fractions from unit fractions. And so how are we going to be able to subtract and add fractions uh, with like denominators? Okay, so we're adding and subtracting fractions. It says subtracting here, but we're going to add also here. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the problem here. So Patricia is making a poster for a book report. The directions say to use one-fifth of the poster to describe the settings, two-fifths of the poster to describe the characters, and the rest of the poster to describe the plot. So what part of the poster will she use to describe the plot? Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get started. I'm going to start off with fraction strips, you guys. So here's our model. And the reason why I'm, I'm cutting them up into fifths right here is because one-fifth is going to be used for uh, the settings and then this two-fifths is going to be used for the uh, to describe the characters okay so I'm cutting them up into fifth size parts so this uh, there here's one-fifth two-fifth three-fifth four-fifth and then five-fifths so five-fifths equals with this one strip right here okay so we're going to shade um, we're going to shade uh, to represent the settings we're going to shade it says one-fifth to represent the settings so I'm going to shade this little box right here to represent the settings right there okay and then we're going to shade how much are we going to shade for the character we're going to shade two-fifths to describe the character okay so there's two-fifths right there so it looks like so write an equation uh, for the part of the poster that's used for the settings and the character okay so my equation is going to be uh, it's going to be this one-fifth plus the two-fifths. It's going to add up to all three of these fifths, and these are in fifth size parts, so it's going to equal three-fifths right there, okay? Easy enough, isn't it, you guys? All right, so I'm going to bring that up a little bit over here. Okay, so um, uh, what does the part of the model that is not shaded represent? Okay, so this part of the model that's not shading, I think it was for the plot of the story. Let's go see. What part of the poster is she going to use to describe the plot? Yeah, this is going to be my plot. of. Uh, she's going to be used to describe the plot. So there's looks like there's uh, two fists in there. So the rest of the poster or the part she's going to be used to describe for the plot. That's what this part is right here. So write an equation for the part of the poster that she will, she will use for the plot right here. Okay, well, this is two fists. I can see that right here, you guys. But they want me to write an equation. So my equation might be this, you guys. It might be one minus uh, these three fifths right here. One minus three fifths will equal this two fifths right here. Or we can even say um, there's five fifths when we started. Five fifths minus these three fifths right here will equal the leftover piece, the two fifths. So either one is okay on that, you guys. That's what that says right there. So Patricia's going to use two fifths of the poster to describe her plot right there. Okay, easy enough, huh, you guys? All right, so why should Patricia divide her, up her poster into five equal parts instead of three equal parts? Okay, well, she's cutting them up into um, the denominator of your fraction tells you the size of the parts. So she's cutting them up into one-fifth of a size and then two-fifths of the size. So they're all in fifth size parts of the whole. That's why we cut it up into five equal pieces. Okay, that way we can describe it. All right, so what's the error here? Russell says that one-fifth plus two-fifths equals three-tenths. Describe his error. Now, I teach high school math, you guys, and I, I still have high school kids that make this error. They want to add 1 plus 2 is 3, 5 plus 5 is 10. They go ahead and add them. And you can't add them, you guys, because the fifths represents the, the, the parts of the whole, you guys. they got to be equal parts. And as soon as you change the denominator, then they change the sizes right there. So by adding parts, you don't change their sizes. When you're adding uh, fractions, you're combining the parts of the whole the same size parts of the whole. So this is one-fifth, and, and just think of those little squares you got, those little rectangles. Those are all the same size. Here's two-fifths. They're the same size. There's just two of them, but they're the same size. So one little rectangle plus two more little rectangles is going to give me three little rectangles, not three triangles, you guys, and that would be like changing it to a ten. Okay, so you keep them the same denominator. So by adding one-fifth size part and two-fifth size parts, you end up getting three-fifth size parts, not three-tenths parts, okay? So you keep the denominators and you just add the numerators because the denominators tell you the size of the, of the whole, how much of the size of the whole. Okay, so common denominators with fractions that have common denominators, they're representing wholes that are divided into the same number of equal size parts. Okay, like the, again, I'm going to reference back to those fifth size parts. They're all the same size. 
So if they have the common denominators, then they're representing the same size parts of the whole. All right, so to add or subtract fractions with the same denominator, you just have to add or subtract the number of parts that are given in the numerator, okay? So if you have two fifths, that means two of those rectangles, two of those five rectangles, okay? All right, so let's complete this. I found this in, in your book. So, so here it is in words right here, and we're going to complete it in fractions right here. So this says one-fourth size part. So here's my one-fourth size part in fractions plus two-fourth size parts. Here's my plus two-fourth size parts is going to equal how many fourth size parts, okay? Remember the denominator stay the same, you just add the denominators, okay? So hopefully you guys can see it's going to be uh, three of the fourth size parts, okay? So this says three fourth size parts in words. Over here this says three fourths in fractions right here, all right? Okay? Three six size parts plus two six size parts. There it is in words. Here it is in fractions. Three six size parts plus two six size parts is going to equal, remember the denominators stay the same, you just add the numerators, five of the six size parts. Okay, seven tenths size parts minus four tenths size parts. So here I'm going to put seven over ten minus four over ten, and then this is going to be, remember the ten stays down here, it's the same, and you just subtract the numerator. Seven minus four is three over ten. Okay? All right, so right or wrong, Bruce says that when you add or subtract fractions with the same denominators, you can just add or subtract the numerators and keep the same denominators. Is Bruce correct? Well, we've been kind of talking about this, and I'd say, yes, um, uh, the denominators tells us the size of the parts. The numerator tells us the number of the equal size parts that we're going to count, okay? So fractions with the same denominators have holes that are divided into the same number of equal size parts, okay? So as long as they have the same denominators and they have the same equal size parts, and you can add or subtract the numerators to find the number of equal size parts to count. All right, so keep the same de the denominator since the size of the parts don't change, the rectangles won't change, just the count of them does, okay? All right, you guys, that's it. Take care.